Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120. Here's your Weather Extreme video for this Saturday morning, January the 27th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray sitting in for Brian Peters, who's traveling this morning. I think Brian is tired of stealing hotel Wi-Fi. And I don't know why he needs to steal it. It's generally free these days, but uh, maybe not fast enough for Brian's taste. Uh, not that high-speed internet he has at home. Uh, look at the radar this morning. We've got rain showing up, uh, but we ain't complaining, as the song says, because we love the rain and unfortunately, we're not getting enough of it. Rain showers showing up between Birmingham and Huntsville this morning at southeasterly flow. Uh, temperatures in the 50s, 57 at Tuscaloosa, 55 in Birmingham. We've got 52 in Anniston. In the 40s across the uh, uh, north Alabama, 49 uh, there at Haleyville, 49 at Coleman, 47 at Gadsden. A little bit cooler up there because they had a clear skies for a little bit longer last night. But as we said... Uh, the rainfall deficit is beginning to be a little bit concerning, especially uh, given the prospect that we might have a dry spring. Uh, this is the precipitation uh, deficiency at Birmingham now totaling 7.6 inches over the past 90 days. We had kind of caught up there for a while uh, and had some nice rains in our late December. And the models have been promising some nice rainfall, but it has not materialized. This has resulted in drought conditions. This is this week's drought monitor now showing severe drought across much of central Alabama from uh, Pickens and Tuscaloosa counties up through Bibb, uh, Shelby, Jefferson, uh, St. Clair, Talladega, into Calhoun counties. All the state now at least abnormally dry and uh, a large percentage of the state now in full drought conditions. And I don't have good news in that department as we go forward. Uh, let's take the uh, surface uh, features this morning, or at least the uh, barometric pressures across the southeastern United States and overlay them on the map. The isobar showing a strong high pressure off to the east, and uh, that acting as a big moisture pump, bringing uh, lots of moisture from the Atlantic and the Gulf up into the southeastern United States. A little trough there over southeastern Texas, southwestern Louisiana resulting in some heavy rainfall amounts overnight in the Houston and Port Arthur areas. Unfortunately, areas that were hit hard in August by Hurricane Harvey. Flash flood warnings, parts of uh, the Houston metro area over into Port Arthur this morning, two to three inches of rain. I was just in Houston yesterday, um, and of course uh, the recovery there continues. A lot of people still reeling uh, from the effects of that and still rebuilding their lives in the Houston area. Uh, that heavy rain will slide into Louisiana today. Three to five inches of rain expected across southern Louisiana. Nothing like that in Alabama. Uh, and in fact, we would probably welcome it. Uh, up to you know, one to one and a half inches across south Alabama. Uh, rainfall totals, as we'll see on the QPF here in a minute, uh, from the WPC, uh, only about one half to one inch across central Alabama. And here is the um, HRRR early on this Saturday morning. I can't put it into motion, which I would really love to do and, and I can slide through a few of the images here. Here's the uh, heaviest rain uh, crossing the Alabama Mississippi border uh, early this morning sliding into the state. Uh, it continues to move across the area at noon uh, and continues to slide into the Birmingham metro area this afternoon. You get the picture that we're going to have pretty uh, pretty much a rainy day across uh, at least the I-20 and I-59 corridors. The rainfall beginning to move out uh, by late in the day. Uh, you might see uh, a little bit of a respite right toward the end of the day, but um, you know, somewhere around uh, seven tenths of an inch of rain expected according to the uh, HRRR model. Now, this is the you can expect these showery conditions to continue through the overnight hours tonight into early Sunday morning. And this is the um, three kilometer NAM uh, composite reflectivity for noon tomorrow. You can see another round of showers getting sacked together across central Alabama ahead of a cold front that will be uh, dropping uh, into the area and putting an end to the rain. Here is that five-day QPF uh, showing a, a donut hole right over central Alabama. Uh, just what we don't want to hear, but somewhere around um, one half to one inch. Hopefully the HRRR is right and we can spit out seven tenths of an inch of rain today uh, through much of the I-20 corridor. Um, that would uh, certainly uh, stave things off for a couple of more days with some more rain coming in later in the week. Now here's the uh, 200 millibar chart for noon on Monday showing big trough. Uh, from the Great Lakes down into the southeastern United States. That's going to allow for effective transport of cold air back into the region. We'll be in the 50s today, 50s tomorrow. Still in the 50s on uh, Monday, but 
and uh, that Monday uh, 50 will be 56 will be accompanied by decent sunshine but uh, trending to colder for Tuesday we'll start off near freezing and uh, only rise into the 40s during the day so another one of these typical chilly days that we've had recently we'll be back in the 50s Wednesday and Thursday but uh, another trough comes in uh, bringing a chance of rain for Thursday night uh, and putting us back in the 40s for Friday and Saturday here's that trough and a very active uh, upper level pattern across the southeast United States this is Friday at noon uh, showing uh, some uh, really strong winds uh, up at about 35,000 feet um, across central Alabama this is the system moving in Thursday night, early Friday morning, showing uh, another round of rain. Still only about a quarter to half inch of rain expected out of this system. And uh, the GFS, uh, as we head through the weekend, we stay dry. Then uh, here is Monday night, the 5th, uh, showing high pressure centered over the Midwest, keeping us dry. At this time, uh, and really in that Sunday night, Monday time frame, the, G or the European has another rainfall system coming into Alabama. The GFS a lot slower than that. Now, I said I had bad news. Uh, this is the uh, CFS, which is the long-range look at the, the GFS carried out through some crazy number of days. Uh, but this is for February. This is the average of the last 30 days runs, showing uh, February uh, showing up with a little bit of a precipitation um, surplus across Alabama. We'll take that. Uh, but I got bad news as we move into the uh, spring. March looking dry, April looking even drier, uh, and it gets worse into to uh, the, the hotter part of the season into May, June, and July. Unfortunately, that pattern doesn't break according to the CFS until October. But now James would qualify that as ultra voodoo land. Uh, but we fear the drought. We don't like drought. And um, we just assume it go away. That's your uh, Weather Extreme video for this Saturday morning, January 27th. I get to come back tomorrow. So until we talk again at this time tomorrow morning, have a great Saturday. Stay dry. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11125.